What up, people? This your boy DTs, and this is We Bout Gaming. And uh, if it's got something to do with gaming, then hey, we bout that. So, anyway, we're gonna get on to just a uh, brink online gameplay commentary. And in this game, I'm gonna be running with uh, Hoss Johnson, one of my soldier guys I created, one of the new guys. And uh, yeah, so let's get on into it. Now, um, this level that we're gonna be on today is Container City, and I'll be on the resistance side of things. So, um, but first, you know, I just want to say that, you know, I apologize for not putting out a lot, some videos like I, I usually have, but it's just, you know, thing, you know, things come up, so, but, um, I still, I appreciate everybody that does come by and check out the channel or whatnot, and, you know, just leave a comment, you know, got all the people that communicate with me via messages or whatever, but, um, anyway, let's get on into it. Okay, now today, I got him running with the, um, the Houston AR, and his side weapon is the, uh, the Richie Revolver, and uh, I d I've done a gameplay before with the uh, Houston, the Houston AR, and it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty good gun, you know, for the most part. And um, now the Richie Revolver, it uh, it does it does a pretty fair amount of damage when you hit somebody straight up with it. Now, I'm not a big Revolver fan in real life, yes, because they're better than semi-automatic weapons. But as far as video games, I'm not a real Revolver person. But um, what we're demonstrating right now is the infamous Container City spawn trap. That's what I like to call it. It's basically once your team gets you know settled down at this spot against the security, it's a bitch to get out of. Now. Now you can get out of it. Nothing's impossible to get out of, but I personally think that this was poor level design on their part because I think there should at least be another way to go around to your to the opposite side when you when you spawn. If you played this level before, then you know what I'm talking about. Instead of just coming this way, you should at least be able to go the other way. Now if they block off three three um, avenues, then I guess you deserve to get stopped. But this is a little tedious right here because. Especially if you're playing with a team full of bots. And it just so happened that my squad, we have a few human players up there. And um, we're all pretty much solid guys from the look of things. And we're just standing there just holding them off. You know, they're not getting a chance to do anything. But, um, you know, I I guess I was reading the game informer, the new one. And uh, it rated Brink a 6.75 out of 10. And... While I don't necessarily agree with the rating, I feel like maybe it could have been a little bit higher or something. I do have to agree with some of the points that they were making. And um and you know, and some of those were the fact like for one I was saying the uh they they were talking about the choke points or some of the places that you have to get through and it's damn near impossible to get through those. Another thing they were talking about was that it's basically no story at all and which personally me I do like the, the concept of the whole game you know a little backstory that they do give you I feel like yeah I would have liked in the single player mode I would have liked to you know learn a little bit more but you know at the same time hey it is it is what it is that's what they decided to go with so you know who am I to tell them what they should have wrote but, you know and then um, they were saying sometimes you get on, put on teams with bots that have no clue sometimes which some of these guys are dumb dumb and so, you know, I do agree with that. But, you know, I personally think it could have been a little bit higher the rating that they gave it. But, hey, okay, you know, that's what they chose to go with. So, but anyway. Um, okay. Now, at this point in time right here, if I was security, I guess I would probably not come up. When you, all right, if you um, ever played on security level, on the security side on this level, you know, when you first spawn, you can either go up to the steps right to your left, that'll be right in that tunnel that I'm aiming at, or to the other side of it. And me personally, the only way to get out of this, this spawn trap is basically is everybody rush it at one time, because the other team obviously can't handle everybody. And some heavies would be nice, especially with some um, some mini guns or something. But yeah, like that, throw them the, um, you throw that Molotov and it's got so much of a big radius that you can knock down almost anybody and um so I, I really love the molotov i think that's a very effective weapon that they put out here and be honest with you this gameplay i got dropped in the middle of the game so i don't know what was going on beforehand but once i got in there we pretty much 
it was pretty much shut down after that. I'm changing and so th this gameplay actually is not going to last too long at all because um, all you see is just basically a, a slaughter. I mean, because these guys keep running in here, we just keep taking them out. And all my guys, we're all supplying each other. So, you know, we're working real good as a team. Now, that's a good thing for us, but it could be very frustrating if you are um, on security playing this level. And, you know, like I said, I feel they could have designed a level a little bit better. I mean, just to give people a fair chance. Because, I mean, once you, uh, come on, I mean, it's just like ridiculous. Once they're set up out there, there's nothing you can really do. But, um, you know, but, uh, Anyway, I'm going to get on out of here as this game plays about to end, and I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the rest of it. And I'll be uh, uploading another.